He was ready at five o'clock. There was snow and frost. Men hustled and shouted, loading the vans with crates of fish. The last door banged, the guard showed his green lamp, and they were off. Come on, come on, don't be silly, don't be silly, puffed Henry to the vans as his wheels slipped on the icy rails. The vans shuddered and groaned, trock a trick, trock a trick, all right, all right, they answered grudgingly. That's better, that's better, puffed Henry more happily as the train began to gather speed. Thick clouds of smoke and steam poured from his funnel into the cold air, and when his fireman put on more coal, the fire's light shone brightly on the snow around. Hurry, 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 panted Henry. They whooshed under bridges and clattered through stations, green signal lights showing as they passed. They were going well. The light grew better, and a yellow signal appeared ahead. Distance signal up, thought Henry. Caution. His driver, shutting off steam, prepared to stop, but the home signal was down. All clear, Henry. Away we go. They couldn't know. The points from the main line to a siding were frozen, and that that signal had been set in danger. A fall of snow had forced it down. A goods train waited in the siding to let the flying kipper pass. The driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in the brake van. The guard pulled out his watch. The kipper's due, he said. Who cares, said the fireman, this is good cocoa. The driver got up, come on, fireman, back to our engine. Henry's driver and fireman jumped clear before the crash. Henry sprawled on his side. He looked surprised. The fat controller came to see him. The signal was down, sir, said Henry nervously. Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused the accident. I'm sending you to Crew, a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape and a larger firebox. Then you will feel a different engine and won't need special coal anymore. Won't that be nice? Yes, sir, said Henry doubtfully. 